<laughs> oh, don't fly away. No. Okay, wait. I've seen it, I've seen it, I've seen it. Let's see if we can get it from here quickly, Craig. Um, did you see where it flew? Oh, it's sitting to the back there. Hold on. Yeah, maybe. That's actually a nice view of it. Through there, Craig, is that okay? And there it is, the beautiful pearl spotted owlet. Teamwork, Craig. <laughs> Oh, that's great. So we heard these owls calling. It just shows you, if you take your time, you scan very, very carefully. I think it might be in the lower triangle. Or where about? Also in there, over there. I thought I saw that. Is that something in there? Yeah, it's blue. It is. Um, no, it, you're right. I saw it. Uh, yeah. There it is, it is another one. Two pearl spotted owlets. That is wonderful. That's a nice surprise. So I think these are the... As you can see, it's not easy to spot them. It's a bit easier now with these bare trees. <laughs> Sorry, Alice, I didn't hear that. Ricky said, what type of owls are they? Oh, midget owls. I thought I thought she said vicious owls. I thought, well, <laughs> I've never seen a, a pearl-spotted owl be too vicious. Um, oh, midget owls, they are tiny. They are very small. There we go. That one's starting to call. Come on. I'd love to hear the whole call. Joe, you said it just kind of blend in. That one is actually quite easy to spot now. You can see it's uh, because we've positioned ourselves in a way you can see that silhouette of it very clearly. I can listen to them for a second. Oh, I wonder, I think they were either fighting or mating there. Now, I do know these pearl-spotted owlets can get a bit aggressive with each other, or territorial, rather. Now, they, that one just flew into the other one. I don't know if it was mating or if it was... If it was just fighting. And now, there are some other little birds that are making a noise. The southern black tit that is mobbing those owls, making a lot of noise. Now, these little birds, these little owls or birds of prey will get chased by by other birds. Oh, there's a lovely bird. Now, Izzy, you asked why are they call the pearl spotted owls. I... I don't know what the exact reason is. I think, Izzy, I think it's got something to do with that very light pale breast and then the, the markings or streaking down the, down the front. But I, um, actually, you know what it is, Izzy, I think it's because of the white marking, the white spots on the, on the forehead. I'll try to show you a picture shortly. But um, there it goes, there they go. And there's other birds chasing that one. I might hear it calling again, it's still sitting up at the top of the tree. 
Actually, if you have a look up there, it's beautiful. We've got the owl in the middle. And then just look off to the right. Those are two golden-breasted buntings. Oh, and those golden-breasted buntings just flew off. But the owl is still sitting there. And then there was another bird that was up here. Has it flown off? There was a black-headed oriole that flew off too. Um, but lovely birds around here at the moment. So just quickly, if you have a look here. Um, and unfortunately on these apps, I can't zoom in. But if you look closely, you can see those little white spots on the on the forehead. And I think that's where the name Pearl Spotted Owl comes from, is those little dots. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I think that's what it is. Well, that was wonderful. Two owls, uh, two different species, the barred owl at first, and now two Pearl Spotted Owls. That's wonderful. Uh, I think let's head across back to Tara. And she's got some more trees to show you.